Kilo 4, Hotel India, Lima, K4HIL. Roger, HIL, and what's the name there? Uh, my name's Todd, Tango Oscar Delta Delta. Roger, Todd, and whereabouts are you located, sir? I'm in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Roger that, and what radio are you running? I have a Flex 5000 talking into a EQ uh, Plus by W2IHY with a PR40 microphone. Roger, Roger. Well, I got a great, really good copy on my uh, local uh, antenna, which is 7300 into a dipole. Uh, you're somewhere probably around uh, 15 over, thereabouts. Uh, why don't you uh, tell me about the best thing you like about your radio so I can get a good recording for you? Okay. Well, I, I tell you, the best thing I like about the Flex radio is it does so much. You know, if you... Uh want to talk to somebody uh, way out there, say in uh, Europe or somewhere, you just turn your spotter program on, and then uh, once they pop up on your spotter, all you got to do is click on their name, and it takes you right to them. It's, it's really convenient. Roger, Roger. Now, I do notice that uh, you might be, uh, yeah, I think you could be a little bit louder. Uh, I think your dynamic range is maybe about uh, 5 dB. We usually shoot for about 3. Uh, if you'd be interested, uh, first thing to do would be to check to be sure you're in that wide uh, transmit bandwidth, uh, 100 to 2900. Roger? Yeah, okay, I'm at 2800 right now on my bandwidth. Yes, sir. Well, come on up to 29. That really makes a difference, you know. Uh, you wouldn't think it does, but it does. And uh, then that gives you just a slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's conversation. So we do uh, recommend 100 to 2,900. Roger? Okay, that there's right at 2,900. Did that change it any? Got just a little bit more edge on it than what it had, and that's the whole name of the game, you know. Uh, we want to try to preserve all of the intelligibility that we can in the audio spectrum, particularly on the treble side. And what happens is when you work in those less bandpass uh, widths, uh, like 2700, uh, uh, 2600, you know, around through there, it really is rolling off, just rolling off the top and the bottom, but more, more important, it's rolling off the top and that's that's what we want to preserve uh, for intelligibility all that we can for that Roger I got you I'll leave it right there then I've just been uh, I've been playing with it the last couple of days anyway with my EQ and all that so uh, I was, everybody says it sounds decent so I, I don't do a whole lot of adjusting Yes, sir. It does really sound good. I, I would just suggest maybe you look at your ALC uh, with mic gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, uh, adjust your mic gain until your ALC is uh, a seven or two-thirds, whichever comes first, Roger. Okay. See. Yeah, well, I'm, 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 zero, I'm zero on my ALC. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, um, I'm, I know you're different there on that uh, uh, radio that, that you have, but normally your ALC is, uh, you know, we want to stay out of the red, but we want about two-thirds on that meter. Uh, so I'm not real sure how your meter interpolates to that, Roger. Okay, I'm right at the edge of the red. Okay, it sounds it sounds good. Uh, uh, usually, my, I'm looking at your audio on a VU meter tied to my audio out of the 7300, and I can tell by the way the meter hangs uh, on your audio as to what the dynamic range is that you're you know using, uh, or your radio is running. And uh, the more you know, as we approach 3 dB, uh, the meter tends to hang. In other words, if I uh, had my VU meter hooked to a PA system and there was nothing there but just the PA system as, as you would talk my meter would sit there and bang all, all around you know but uh, when you start to uh, try to, re to reduce the dynamic range then the meter hesitates uh, up uh, you know and that's what causes uh, uh, that uh, a loud signal is because you're, uh, you're reducing the dynamic range which uh, increases your average percent of, of uh, uh, modulation, uh, percent of modulation, Roger. Okay, so um, what, what do, you, do you think I should go up with my mic gain and try it or go down? Uh, if you would like to experiment, uh, if, if you're uh, whatever you are, why don't you go up 10 clicks 
uh, from, uh, say, an 80 to a 90, and let's just see what happens. Okay, I'm not going to go up that much, but I just went from, uh, on my radio, 26 to uh, about 31. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it's, uh, you know, you certainly made a difference, uh, that's for sure. And like I say, you'll, you'll have to be the judge of that. We are recording, so uh, if you uh, wanted to take a listen to that little uh, operation. Now, now, what did that do for your ALC? How, how are you at your ALC? Okay, looking back at the ALC, it's just bumping right there at the same spot. Yes, sir. I would run it just like that. And I would say perceptually, it like it was uh, about a 10 to 15, uh, well, maybe not that much, maybe a, more like a 5 dB uh, a bump in the audio level. But uh, you be the judge of that. We are recording, have been recording. So uh, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. Uh, it'll be, uh, you know, this. go to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3100, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Just a little bit more to 34, is that still uh, in, in range? A little bit more to 34, is that still uh, in, in range? Yes, sir. I just went to had to go to my uh, Kentucky SDR. My local uh, uh, signal kind of uh, faded a little bit. Mother Nature decided to uh, to spread the signal around somewhere else. So I'm on the uh, uh, my Kentucky SDR. But it sounds good to me. Why don't you tell me uh, uh, the best thing you like about your antenna system? What it is? And oh, Roger. The best thing you like about your antenna system? What it is? And oh, Roger. Okay, the best thing I like about my antenna system is I have a uh, uh, 55 foot of Ron 45 with a hazer, so I don't have to climb the tower. I just bring the antenna down to the ground if I got to work on it. So that's that's the best thing I like about. It. Yeah, Roger. Now, are you running a Vox or uh, uh, audio uh, uh, switch at the end of your audio chain? Yes, yes, I, I'm uh, running Vox, so it, it'll clip in. If I take a long breath, it'll it'll clip out. Yes, sir, Roger, Roger. I was just curious. I could hear it uh, kind of switching there. I wasn't wasn't sure real, really what was happening. Well, you know, what we also say is uh, maybe that uh, you, you know, if for lack of something better to do, uh, to leave that uh, ALC meter out, and uh, concentrate on uh, keeping that AOC in the sweet spot there uh, just by your voice, say over a period of a couple of weeks. And uh, pretty soon you'll, you know, you'll have work out a relationship with you, your voice in the AOC to keep it right in that sweet spot, Roger. Okay, yeah, I can tell you what I, else I have that's helped out a bunch is uh, this Flex has the, uh, the pan, uh, pan adapter on it with the, with the pan scope. So I'm actually looking at my, uh, you know, my scope of my voice going across the screen, and I could tell when you told me to go from the 22 to the 30 that it's it's intensified it, you know, greatly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're you're seeing the amplitude of the waveform. Yeah, the waveform. It's you know, you see your it goes across the screen and and it shows your ups and downs when you're talking. Yes, sir. And your AOC does that also. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's another reference point, but uh, the, the idea is uh, to uh, try to keep that uh, uh, the you know the meter in the sweet spot just by the uh, your voice and controlling your voice, Roger. I hear you. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking time to get with me. I I know. I think I heard somebody else that was real light trying to come back to you. So I won't keep you a long time. I just appreciate you uh, straighten me out a little bit. Roger, Roger, Todd. Well, you, you sound beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't uh, uh, do anything with the equalization curve. I think that's right there. And uh, but you, you be the judge when you when you listen back. That, like I say, this uh, uh, 7300 is good down to uh, 100 cycles or or below that a little bit. And I have seen activity to 25 cycles. So uh, you know, it, a whole lot better than. Uh, uh, SDR, which is rolling out at uh, uh, 200 cycles, as far as trying to, to hear that bottom end, Roger? I hear you. Yeah, I, I use the SDR a lot to listen, but uh, I, I know what you're saying. Roger, Roger, Todd. It was 73, sir. Thanks for dropping by. If you get a chance, uh, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you.
All right. Yeah, I just happened to be off today. Uh, I, I worked too many hours first of the week, so they said uh, stay home. So I said, I'll do it. So y'all have a good and over Jim. It's nice talking to you. Is it my turn to burn, Jimmy? We'll do it again. This is Kilo 4 Hotel India, Lima, Nashville, Tennessee. Roger, Roger, Todd, 73, sir. Uh, and if you get a chance, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you.